plate's all set. Um, now we need to actually get the yeast from the bottom. So pop open your favorite beer, pour it out really slowly so you don't disturb the yeast at the bottom. Okay, now that we're close to the bottom, check that we've got some yeast in there. Swirl it up in solution. And I have a little sanitized beaker here that we're going to pour the yeast into. Now Lade is going to demonstrate how to streak out a plate. So the beak he's using right now is just alcohol for quenching. She's got the inoculation loop running it through the flame. You're going to get a little bit of the yeasty beer on the inoculation loop. She's just letting it air cool so she doesn't kill the yeast. And now we incubate for a few days until we start to see yeast. And that's it. Thank you, yeast geneticist Leda. So as you can see, after about three days of incubation, we have a few single colonies here that I'm going to single out. I'm just going to pick them up with the inoculation loop, uh, drop them into a bit of water so we can mix them really well, and then put it into our prepared slant tube over there. The slant tube was, the medium for the slant tube was prepared the exact same that we did for the plate, except we just put it in this tube and uh, laid it on its side to solidify so that we would have a large surface area to spread our yeast on. So we'll get started.
So now I'm just mixing up the yeast colonies that I've collected off the plate so that we get a uniform mixture more or less. going to loosen up the lid on the slant tube. I'm going to pass my inoculation loop through the flame again. Wait for it to air cool. Completely remove the lid. Flame the top a little bit. Grab some of my yeast mixture and just spread it all around the uh, surface of the slant here. Uh, recap the lid very loosely on the slant and uh, let this incubate for several days.